Hello, welcome to Orphan Espresso. I'm Doug. I'm Barb. And I, uh, this video is going to be about deep cleaning and alignment of the grinder. Uh, I've started with it partially disassembled. This is at the point for normal cleaning that we covered in our video previous. Okay. I might point out that the alignment is pretty much fixed when you take it apart for regular cleaning. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to go a step further and disassemble the grinder a little bit more. Okay. First thing I'll do is I will take off the... I have to put the handle on it to hold it still. I remove this little screw in the bottom. Right? It holds a washer. And this is kind of a safety feature. It keeps, the, the, keeps you from unthreading the burn and dropping the glass jar on the ground. So I remove this screw. Okay, so there's the washer and the screw. Okay, now I have taken that apart. Okay. This comes in alignment. You need to be off of this to do your alignment. Okay. So if you're going to disassemble this, you use the L key. Okay, that's why we provide this tool. It also has a ball on the end, a ball driver end. But the L key is the tool that you use to break these screws free. These screws are what hold the ring burr in place. Okay. Make sure that the hex is centered and straight in the socket of the screw so you don't wear out, you don't round out that hex. So you break these three free. Now, since you're not making a video and have all the time in the world, you use a ball end to completely unscrew these. As you can see, you have to be careful not to hit that L against the black of the top. So, this is a process that some people, if you're adept with an L key, it's no problem. And this is why I use a ball driver. Okay. If you're building a lot of grinders, you get the proper tools. I like the ball driver. Okay. Now that you have this out, okay, I just generally take and dump the four screws. Now you can see that you have the ring burr, the ring burr carrier, and in here we have the ring burr. This is the ring burr. It's a lower. Bearing yeah, right. Right. It's carrier. The, it holds the burn place. It's the lower burn, burn carrier. You see, there's our roller bearing. This part here, you can get in and you can clean this part. Uh, at this point, for if we want to call this deep cleaning, now we can wipe out the inside of the, this with the appropriate cloth and clean this out. You could actually spritz a little window cleaner in there and take a soft paper towel and clean it out quite nicely. Now here's the thing. Assembly. You see the logo here. Right? Yes. And you see this part here, the lower bearing carrier has a there. key. Hold still. Has a square. Yep. Okay. That square goes. See the logo? Mm-hmm. It lines up with the logo. No, it doesn't. It lines up between the two screw marks. Ah. Okay. Ah, no. Logo, key. Okay. Right. On this carrier, now you have the where the key mates. I can't see it. It's right here. See this rectangle? Uh, yes. Okay. And there's the reference. Okay. When you assemble the grinder, the logo goes, hole goes above the reference. Okay. That means the keys mate. Okay. You line those two up, get the key. Now, each one of these screws has a tiny washer. I think at some point I better put my glasses on. Okay. Each screw has a tiny washer. And you insert the four screws. 
make sure that see there's something weird going on there no reflection okay and I say it's a tiny washer go ahead and put the tiny washer in there put the screw oh come on there it is one two three four now using my driver or the ball end of this key down until it's snug and then turn it back. Half turn, three quarter, one. Just try to turn it back the same much. I can feel it tighten back. Feel it tighten back. Feel it tighten and back. Okay. So Whoa, that one flying. That's Don't lose my your spring. spring. Okay, there's a stainless steel washer that has been retained in here. That's the thrust washer for the roller bearing. Sometimes it comes out, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, but there's a little washer in there. It will sit right on top of the spring if it does come out. Okay, okay it goes back in. Now, the alignment principle is that this is loose. There's a little bit of room for the ring burr to move around in that cavity. It can move move around in every direction. So we have set, we've got bearing, bearing in alignment with the axle. Cone burr is in alignment with the bearings. So the movable element is the ring burr. We basically take it like this. Now, we're using the ring burr. Oops, came off my pegs. We're using the ring burr as a tool to center, or the cone burr as a tool to center the ring burr. I misspoke. Feels nice and smooth. Basically, push it into position. You take your, you snug this. This is what you'd use the ball end. Hold the, hold the cone burr in place, and turn this until it's snug. Okay. This is why I like to use this, it's a lot less awkward. Okay, I snug them across. Now, the burr is held in place. Make sure you have the nylon washer on there. This comes back into position. Okay, I'll go ahead and I'll set my zero. You see what happened? It just stopped. Mm -hmm. Okay, I go back to my reference zero. All right. Now I'll go ahead and snug all four up so they feel like they're about the same tension. I already did that one. Okay, all four. You check it. Nice. No rub. Good alignment. Lastly, you take the L key, get it square in there. And you tighten these all so they feel the same. That's why I like to use the long key because it actually gives you the effect of a torque wrench. You can feel that you've snugged them down, you've tightened them down approximately equally. From there, you put the handle back on as you've seen before, install this washer on the bottom, and the grinder is deep cleaned. It's realigned and it's ready to go. So that's it. It's that simple. Thank you.